bitch, I've been the man, the man since 89. Came up out my mama with goals, I had to grind. That was mind over matter, pay niggas, no, never mind. It's Platinum, we're back with episode. I don't know, like 12 with this. Last regular season game till the playoffs. We're gonna be 16 and 0 by the end of this, so that'll be fucking dope. Hell yeah, let's go. Best number two, best 5-5 five five player to ever play the game. I'm a midget, but we're still winning games. I'm a rookie and I threw like 60 touchdowns. But either way, so let's go. And can someone please explain to me why the hell Patrick Mahomes is on the cover? They should have put Baker on it and put Patrick Mahomes on like the legacy cover. I feel like that would have worked better. And no, I'm not gonna fucking pre-order the game. I'll probably order the game whenever I. I'll probably order the game or something like the day it comes out, but I probably won't bother pre-ordering it. Like, I'm probably not gonna pre-order the thing, but we're three subs away from 120, 220. So let's get that. Either way, if we take a dub, we're getting 16 and 0. 91 Dolphins. 2007 Patriots. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on there. Heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right. That's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, I have that dagger play, I have that play to just finish him off right now, because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Solid catch there for a man who's been so brilliant this year. Worth pointing out, as we were talking about earlier, there has never in the 60-year history of the award been a pass catcher, tight end or wide receiver, that has taken home the MVP trophy. And the best receivers I've talked to, they know that stat, and it drives them crazy, because they understand that without a quarterback, they don't make the plays that they make, but they also don't feel like they get enough credit for bailing out some of the throws the quarterbacks make. Absolutely. Takes two to tango. They go play action here on first down. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. Corlin Sutton with touchdown number 20. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's got it, the tight end Jeff Hireman. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A gain of 32 that time. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Back alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Bronco football to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Flex round! Flex round! They'll drop to throw. Buying time to his left. There he goes inside the 30. And he gets this one down to the 24. Solid gain of 18 yards and a Denver first down. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. He'll look to throw. Throwing right side, that's complete to Marius Thomas. 70th catch for him on the year, and like so many others, this goes for a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. 
And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there. Need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Now a second down throw for the end zone. It's incomplete. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive. They had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys do not play offense. They're going to look to throw. Got his man. It's Thomas. Touchdown, Denver. Demarius Thomas. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's going to air one out. That's caught inside the 20. But he'll be taken down deep into Charger territory. A huge play there for Denver. 61 yards. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Deshaun Hamilton, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Broncos will add on to their lead. Here comes the Broncos offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. This is sort of what you would call the put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Back to throw. Going for the deep ball. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. It's a big play there for the Broncos. 45 yards. That's a big-time pitch and catch right there. And, partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or, even worse, an interception. He'll drop to throw. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Finding room to the 20. And he'll finally be taken down at the 18. Denver has a first down on the 15-yard play. Now, that was a whole lot of open space out in front of him, wasn't it? I'm telling you, Brandon, when things are going right, they are going right. And everything has been going their way for the most part. Yeah, I saw that lane start to develop. Boom, he took advantage of it. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. He'll get 8 on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. They'll look to throw. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. They got the win last week despite not having any interceptions. Tried to come up with one that not. But there's a stat category called PBU, pass breakup. That's important, too, and they got one. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because at least you're there knocking the ball away. Offense isn't possessing it, making plays down. Now this Broncos offensive unit ready to head back out onto the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Melvin Ingram. 
in there to sack him for a loss of six. Well, it was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. And he will have a man, Demarius Thomas. And way up past the 35. Yo, my boy Kyler Murray went number one. I like that. And Marquise Brown went to the Ravens. So now it's Kyler and Baker, both in the NFL. And Josh Rosen is trash. No, it's Josh Rosen, but it's true. Honestly, I'm starting to think Josh Rosen will be a bust, but still. Uh, this offense just a little too good, isn't it? Really Either way, we're no done here. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Like, comment, subscribe. Platinum Mario out. Got his man. It's Thomas. Touchdown, Denver. Demarius Thomas. to throw now on first down looking deep downfield and a scary incompletion almost picked off it would have been their first INT of the game instead second down fourth quarter you've got the big lead if you're coaching Charles you, you still taking shots like that downfield I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around you throw a couple of picks you could... and caught by Sanders Touchdown, Broncos. Emmanuel Sanders. Here we go. Fans now it looks like he'll throw Fans here. He's going to wind up and air it out. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Looking deep for Demarius. And he's unable to grab. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on third down. Despite the lead here in the fourth, they're still taking shots. Not content to sit on this lead at all. And to me, it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays. Do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a lead? Or do you try and extend it because you always feel like the other team can come back? Extend it. The Broncos offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. Defensively, there's still three timeouts. I, do you even need to use them at this point? I think a lot of coaches do it anyway, and it seems like cosmetics to us. Does it just send a message you're not quitting? Send a message that, that you're not quitting. Let your team know you're going to battle all the way, and you're always hoping for that ultimate miracle that something <laughs> will happen, you'll pick up the ball and score, and you'll have a chance one more time and maybe on an onside kick, but not likely. And now the Chargers are going to signal for another timeout. As they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Here's Royce Freeman, the first carry for the rookie. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're gonna keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They're gonna go, it's Booker. And boy, this is gonna be close. That mark looks a little short, and he didn't get there.